Welcome back, everyone. Today's space news headlines are a mixed bag, with exciting launches overshadowed by technical hiccups. Buckle up, because I've got a lot to cover. First, United let's blast States. off to Florida, Nine, where United Launch eight, Alliance pulled seven, off a spectacular six, debut for its newest five, rocket, the Vulcan four, Centaur. Three, we have ignition. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. Soaring from Space Launch Complex 41, the mighty Vulcan carried Astrobotics Peregrine Lunar Lander skyward. This Peregrine 1 mission marks a bold step for Astrobotic, paving the way for future moon deliveries. However, while the launch was a triumph for ULA, Astrobotic encountered a curveball shortly after spacecraft separation. The spacecraft, unfortunately, suffered an anomaly that prevented it from achieving its crucial sun pointing orientation. Ground teams are currently working hard to troubleshoot the issue, as proper solar panel alignment is essential for the mission's progress. According to Astrobotic, the initial findings suggest they are working with a propulsion issue on the spacecraft. If unsuccessful in resolving the issue, this could lead to another failed lunar landing attempt. Speaking of history-making moments, Peregrine 1 also signifies the first American lunar lander mission since the Apollo era, a testament to the renewed excitement for lunar exploration. Shifting gears, let's hear some SpaceX updates. Elon's company notched its third successful launch of the year yesterday, sending another batch of 23 Starlink satellites into orbit aboard their trusty Falcon 9 rocket. And lift off. Go Falcon. Go Falcon. Vehicles pitching downrange. Not only that, but the mission F1 marked D the 16th Perfect. launch and landing for the first stage booster B-1067, proving its incredible reusability. Landing lift deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Meanwhile, down at Starbase, workers are busy with the scrapping of unused vertical water tanks at the orbital tank farm. While everyone eagerly awaits news of Starship Flight 3's timeline, the rumor mill remains eerily quiet on that front. That's all for now, I will be back with more updates in the next video.